Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Lyricist from 4Pockets. Another application from the uh, fantastic developer Paul. Um, um, I have opened AUM here. You see a number of other apps which are loaded, but here on the top left hand side, you see Lyricist. Let's open it. And before I start, I have a number of codes to give away. Um, courtesy of Paul, of course. So if you want to participate in the giveaway competition, please just follow the instruction in the video description, which will also tell you not only how to apply, but also how to retrieve a code when you have won. And check the first or oldest comments in the comment section to see if you the winners have been announced. And if you are a winner, you will receive a reply to the comment that you left as per instruction. Um, so uh, Lyricist is an AUV3 a UV3 uh, compliant application, which helps you to create uh, lyrics in a song structure format. As you can see here, uh, familiar controls from all the application that Paul has developed, which is really nice, it's easy, easy to use straight away. Here, at the top here, you have uh, the different part um, or strong structure, which you can use to create your song, which uh, in this case, I've loaded an example, which you can see here, we have a verse one, and then a chorus, then a verse two, and a chorus again. And for each of the different song structure, we have lyrics as well, or part lyrics on the right hand side. Each lyric, of course, you can edit, and then you can therefore see which note or chord the lyric is based on, the octave inversion, and a lot of other controls, which I will show in more detail in future tutorials. And you can also embed uh, additional changes to your lyric like notes as well. Uh, on the left hand side, you have buttons which helps you to add, remove, delete, etc. your song structure here based on what you select up here on the different categories. And then on the top here, you have con additional controls to load, save your song, copy and paste, play, activate your talk box or doubler, and also additional options to create a new song and change the different settings. So the way it works is that it based the um, the speech on the internal speech synthesis and the four voices which are loaded inside your Apple device. Therefore, you can add those as your convenience. And as you load those, it, it uses those um, voices to generate, um, to render the audio based on the settings that you have selected. When you see here in an R, it means that the audio has been rendered. So let me sh uh, show you what it sounds like. Of course, just the lyricist, and then I will be adding uh, gradually the talk box, the doubler, and also the additional instrument. And the beauty is that you can get to end to the end with uh, a songs where you have uh, your uh, device which is singing. So let me start with this. We're charging our battery. And now we're full of energy. So as you can see at the moment, it's using the standard voice from your Apple device. So let's add a doubler. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and let's play again. We're charging our battery. And now we're full of energy. Okay, so that has doubled voice. Now let's add the talk box. And this is where you will start to hear the difference uh, coming through. Okay. We're charging our battery. And now we're full of energy. We are the robots. We are the robots. We are the robots. So as you can see, really, really interesting. Now that we have a singing voice, uh, let's unsolo this. And what I've done here, I have added um, a different synth, which are driven by... Um, Code bud two and also our bud two so that I have uh, some chords here and also a bass up here and then I use uh, um, shoulder application rhythm and uh, Ruiz Maker to create a little bit of a drum pattern. So let me uh, play now how it sounds like. <laughs> As you can see, for people which cannot sing, like myself, it's really great to have an application like this one. 
And of course, the audio is rendered, which uh, it makes it even more interesting because what you could do is, for example, go to your voice, select, I don't know, Martin as a German voice. It will ask you if to re render all the voices. Sorry, to re render the audio with the voice selected, say no. Now I go to the second uh, lyric here on the chorus and I click on the R and I say re-render audio. It will re-render that one and also do that on the, the last one there, like so. And now I go back to the beginning and I click play and you will hear when it gets to the chorus that it will change voice um, accordingly. <laughs> So as you can hear, it changed the voice that he used on the second and the fourth part lyrics of the chorus, the first chorus st song structure. So as you can hear, you can create um, a song where your uh, Apple device is uh, singing, which is absolutely great. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will create very, very shortly an additional one when I go through all the controls. See you next time. Bye.